laugh. <laughs> Maverick at them again, man. Yeah. You know what I feel laugh? I feel laugh. I mean, I look back at me and say to myself, say, yo. <laughs> While well, everybody a bicker and a name up themselves over the legacy of Ilian Thompson here. And up in them feelings, says she leaves Stephen Francis and she leave MVP. And says she needs to go get back a good coach and her husband can coach her and blah, 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 blah. And she had grateful and one bag of thing. Re you realize, say, say Ilian, I enjoy the space for she now. Ilian in a good space, you know. Me tell them from day one, you know, Ilian looks like a happier person right now than when she up her MVP a win. <laughs> Think about that. Yeah, reconcile that in our mind. Yeah, and I was listening to an interview where she did after she just leave MVP. Right? She had chat to Miss Kitty round for her, her radio show. And she had tell Miss Kitty, so she basically explained the move. As much as I've heard it explained. And she said she outgrew MVP and she wanted to do some different thing with her life. But she never, you know, she never, she, she wasn't getting a chance to do while she was there. She used an analogy. Like a child growing up, when you're just taught to do as you're told and take the things that are given to you because you can't do better. You're a child. So you just take the things that are given to you and you do what you're told. But she said, no, she in a space now where she want to do what she feels to do. Yeah, for her own comfort and her own benefit. I will tell you from day one, you know. Say, this move from MVP was not a legacy move, you know. It was a business move and a comfort move. Yeah, a comfort move, a headspace move. And who are we out here in, in an idle land, a chatter land? <laughs> who are us out here to be, <laughs> to be dictating what should make Ilian happy? Yeah, we see another person. We see some snippets of Alien. On a catwalk, a runway up in New York. A model closing up for Puma, you know. <laughs> you see? The same Puma when she signed a big deal with it. You know? I tell her, well, you know, talk about Alien, this and money, this and legacy that. Who don't know the extent of the deal when Alien signed with Puma? Eh? Well, whatever it is, she was obligated to be. Up there on the runway in New York, a walk and a model, some, some exquisite looking clothes. Let me just call it that. Yeah. And it's not she alone. The legend himself was there as well. As another Puma athlete, you saying St. Leo Bolt. Yeah, man, a big fashion show. Understood. It's, it's, it, me understand it's Puma. It's Puma set it up. And Ilian up there having a the time of her life and she take photographs and she have walked down the, the, the runway and Looking very good in our space. So me don't know and, and consider flashback your mind to that whole journey when she was up at in Oregon for the world championship. She was winning. She was running her time just she normally run. But Ilya did look happy. Ilya looked happy. Even in the interview that were Ilya do when she did up at Oregon. Think about them and think about her disposition. Think about how she looked. She had a smile on her face. Yeah. She was happy. She said she was. She said she was grateful, and she expressed herself and talk about the things that been affecting her all season. Me? She go for the Commonwealth Games at ease with herself, and she run and she win the sprint double, and she come back and reach it. She come back now. Is 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 what she might happen? Run away, me see her. Get to her, me see her. Pan. A model close for people. Again, my observant eye tells me. That Ilian looks very at peace with herself. Now, we mustn't we can understand fans wanting things for them sports stars, you know. Yeah? But one thing we can tell you, we understand the dynamic. All of us do that. All of us who have stars where we rate want them for attain greatness, especially when they have talent and quality. But also, I don't know why, but from day one. When Ilian make this move, and we look at the whole dynamics surrounding the move, and the potential reasons for she make the move, and we make some calls and make some investigation and ask why would she make a move like this? And from the moment the business aspect of it was introduced in the dynamic, we said no man, then we have to depend on Ilian's side. We have to depend on Ilian's side. 
Ilian made the move right when she became back to back double sprint champion, you know, Olympic sprint champion. You know. When no woman in the history a track and field ever done before, you know. It's right there, so she strike the iron, you know. When she act like 10 paper side, you know. Paper seed, sorry. <laughs> See? And there's so she strike the iron, you know. And in terms of a big, I want to tell you, say, I tell you this. A lot of athletes out there grow up and down and get up and get up and get up and learn from Ilian Thompson era. You know, so when the, when the history of Jamaican track and field is being told, you see that chapter with Ilian Thompson era, I don't know what, I don't want, I don't want nobody to disfigure it or twist it or convolute it to how they want to state for them one of you know. facts. But this move by Ilian Thompson era, is a power move where more athletes must look at and consider and learn from. Remember me tell you. Yeah, I am looking forward to seeing Ilian go again next season. She's 30. She's not 40. So you expect that she have some more gas left in at the top. See? But as to whether or not now, when we start one and you know, I start to temper my expectations now in terms of her getting back to that, that the time that she used to run. Because obviously she has made a conscious decision by the actions that she take. Say, all right, that was done and that is dusted. It is now time to start ponder some other phase of my life now. Yeah, and at that, Mr. Alien Thompson era, we we'll look and learn and stop wanting fear more than how she wanted for herself. After a while, I you know, must give it up. <laughs> what she said. She had to walk and modeling. She said, yes, she said, this was one of our dreams, you know. If we at some point do some modeling, you know. She don't want to live her dream, no more. She said, this little country girl. I know what most people never figure she would ever be able to do. She'll live her dream. More you, more you out there. Out there in a social media land and in a YouTube land. Yeah, look at Alien Thompson era and learn from her. She's a hell of a champion, a hell of an athlete, and her story is a hell of a story, and it is still unfolding. Yes, it. You get it. <laughs> we got E.T. Yeah, she's Shelly and Sherry Kalek. What were them said them? World Athlete of the Year. Yeah, E.T. They put the catwalk up in New York and model some clothes. Yeah, and fulfill her sponsors' obligations. That she want to do. And this is her space day. She been round here, so I'm done round that already. You get me? Big up Ilian Thompson Eva. Yeah. You're doing what you're doing. And you're writing your own chapter in the storied book of Jamaican athletics. Tell me what I think. Both when me think. Ilian Panikatwa. What do you think about it? 